Sri Lanka harbors an abundance of natural resources for generating renewable energy. These sources are sustainable, efficient, increasingly cheaper and easy to access. Yet most of our energy is still drawn from fossil fuels. Coal is the dominant source, generating over a third of the country's electricity. Globally, coal burning generates over two-thirds of greenhouse gas emissions from the electricity sector and nearly half of all CO2 emissions, leading to multiple negative environmental effects as a result of pollution. In Sri Lanka, a survey of nearly 200 families living in close proximity to the country's only operating coal power plant, which is located in Norochole, found that they experience higher rates of illness, especially cancer, and reduced life expectancy as well as premature birth, miscarriages, and low birth weights. Contrary to popular belief, coal burning doesn't do well from a financial perspective either. One Harvard study found that even the most conservative estimates of various socio-economic and environmental costs or externalities that appear during the life cycle of coal effectively double or even triple the price of electricity per kilowatt hour. In Sri Lanka, socio-economic costs generated by the Norochole coal power plant typically go unaccounted for when assessing the full cost of its coal power generation. Once factored in, they are revealed to take a significant toll on the national economy and livelihoods of neighboring communities. Moving towards renewable energy is key in mitigating the environmental health and economic costs of burning coal and other fossil fuels. Critically for Sri Lanka, renewable energy represents a more cost-efficient means of deriving energy, costing less than even the cheapest coal power plants. Today, solar and wind power serve as the dominant renewable energy sources around the world. Yet in Sri Lanka, where these sources are plentiful, they supply only small amounts of electrical power to the national grid. Although the government has recommended enhancing renewable energy forms to make up 70% of the country's total energy mix by 2030, existing energy expansion plans by the Ceylon Electricity Board indicate a greater reliance on fossil fuels. As a result, our current trajectory for zero carbon energy generation is considerably lower in comparison to other countries. With time being of the essence, the combined efforts of the government, industries and communities to better harness renewable energy sources is critical in powering Sri Lanka towards a cleaner, greener and healthier future.